since we got to celebrate Mother's Day this weekend, I wanted to make some edible, delicious flowers with my freeze dryer today. This is something I've been dying to try ever since I first saw it on the internet. They are so beautiful and taste even better. I first want to wish all of you mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. I hope you were spoiled. Being a mom is definitely the hardest job in the world, but also the most rewarding and best job in the world. Happy Mother's Day. You moms all rock and we love ya. The candy that we're gonna use for this edible flower are Jolly Ranchers. Now, like I said, I've seen this done online. I have not tried it myself, so I'm hoping this turns out to be a success, but we will find out together. The first step for the Jolly Rancher flowers is to get your Jolly Ranchers unwrapped. So I'm gonna start with that. those unwrapped that's about all that I'm gonna need but before we move on to the next step let's get our freeze dryer set up I need to power it on here is our main screen we're gonna go into customize I want to do this in candy mode I'm gonna go to 145 and I'm gonna do this for four hours that's just the time I like to do my candy on I've had good success these top two numbers you don't need to worry about when we start candy mode, it skips all the freezing. So it doesn't matter if that's zeroed out or if it's got numbers there, it's just gonna skip it anyway. So we're gonna hit save and you'll see it says high temperature mode, start. And we wait a 15 minute cool down period. The next tool you're going to need is one of these, open it. <laughs> This is a PVC pipe cutter, but I use it to cut my candy. This cuts Jolly Ranchers so easy. Normally they're like super hard. You can't cut them. A knife's not gonna work. This works great. So I use this a lot in my candy making. This I would say is a must have tool if you are a candy freeze dryer. I will put a link to a tool like this in the description below if you are interested and need to purchase one of these. I just need to cut these Jolly Ranchers in half. I do that because the Jolly Ranchers, they puff up really big. So I cut them in half to just make them not be so epically huge. Here's what they look like all chopped up. We are now ready to assemble our flowers. What I am using for the stick of the flower is just a wooden chopstick. You can use a skewer or something similar. I'm going to lay that down. Okay, I'm going to do it on this tray so you can see better. I'm going to lay it down. I want to do the center of my flower um, a different color than what the petals are going to be. So the center is going to be blue. And then I'm just gonna do red petals around it. And I think I'm gonna do five. And let me just take you in a little closer. idea here. The goal is that the candies will puff up around the stick and the stick will be inside of the puffed up Jolly Rancher. We will find out when we are done. This is an experiment. You know me. I'm all about the experimentations. So I'm hoping this is going to turn out though. This is so fun. I'm going to do the rest of my flowers. I'm going to do only two, maybe three per tray because I just don't want them blending into each other or messing up. Here's 
how my cute flowers look. I forgot I only had six skewers, so I could only do six of them with sticks. I got two freebies right here and just my extra ones I threw on there for fun. So now we are ready to get these into the freeze dryer. It's all loaded up. I now can hit you're gonna hit this toggle button to for candy process to on. Close your drain valve. And then we're gonna hit continue. It's gonna to ask to warm the trays. I hit start. I just add a couple of minutes and it's all ready to freeze dry. I'm so excited for this. I wanted to try these cute flowers for so long. And now we're gonna see how they turn out and if I think it would be a good thing for you guys to try at home. I think these could make darling little like teacher appreciation gifts if you could wrap it in cute packaging, have your little kiddo give it to their teacher. Who wouldn't like that? I would love it. If you have the itch to start freeze drying yourself, whether it's candy, whether it's food and food storage or both like I do over here, now is the time to purchase a freeze dryer Harvest Right is running their biggest sale of the year. It is the same as their Black Friday deal on freeze dryers all through the month of May. I have an affiliate link in the video description below that you can click on and that lets you shop for freeze dryers there. I appreciate any time you shop using my link. You can use it for freeze dryers, for accessories, any of that. Thank you so much. I hope you are ready to join me on this fun freeze drying adventure. It's been the best. I'm actually gonna set up my camera to do a time lapse. If I can get a good view in here so you can see the actual like puff up of the candy. Let me see if I can get that angled well enough. If not, I will catch you on the other side at the end of this process in about four hours and we will see how these turned out. I'm not sure if the time lapse worked. In the middle of it, I ended up having a power outage. My circuit in this room shut off for, I think I had too many things going at the same time as a freeze dryer. And look at how smart this, when the power came back on, it automatically turned on and it asked me if I want to resume the old job that it was in the middle of. I hit proceed and then it gives you a little power outages one and the amount of time that the power was out, which was two minutes. So this is a really cool feature. If this had happened in the night and we lost power and I didn't know about it, and it did come back on and automatically start back up again, it would tell you how long the freeze dryer was shut off for. I think that's super cool and super helpful. Okay, our freeze drying process is done. Our little hiccup with the power outage is resolved. I think it's because I had all these lights and other things all running at the same time and it made our circuit mad. So that's, I think, what caused the power to happen. But it resolved perfectly fine. I've got a little helper here. And Lincoln, can you open the drain valve over here? Over here. So you take that knob and pull it sideways. This way? No, this black thing. Uh, Make it straight. There you go. Oh. Wait, and then I want you to hit defrost. There you go. Continue. I see some flowers in there. I'm not sure if they're holding together or not. Let's see. Open up that door. Link. I also see some sticks. Yeah, that's to make them kind of more like popsicles. Okay, these are probably going to be really cold. Look how beautiful. <laughs> Well, it does not look like my stick stuck. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that one did not puff up well. <laughs> That's a little separated. Can I have one? Hang on, <laughs> hang on. These look adorable. My stick thing did not work. So, wah, wah. The sticks did not stick. I'm not sure how the people online did the sticks, but 
The flowers themselves look adorable. I mean, some of them. <laughs> this one turned out great. Bah, bah. This one turned out adorable. It's sticking together very nicely. I think this would make a darling little treat to add to some type of gift, but so pretty, so fun. I, oh, okay. And I just crashed it a little bit. Whoopsies. I'm glad I got to try this out. This was super fun. They're so cute. If you have made these before and you got a stick skewer thing to work in them, let me know. I would love any advice on how to get those to stick in the flower itself. So it's like a flower on a stick. I mean, I suppose I could shove a flower onto the stick afterwards, but I would be afraid that it would crumble up. Maybe that's how they do it. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching today's video. This is just a super fun, random little video that I wanted to make today. I've always wanted to try these cute little flowers. If you're not already subscribing to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can leave those down in the comment box below. I'm happy to take any requests for freeze drying ideas. This has been so much fun. Happy Mother's Day again to all you mothers out there. You are all the real MVPs and I will catch you guys on the next freeze drying adventure. See ya.